Hey guys, today we're checking out Blade Runner from 1982. Let's get to it. Okay, I'm so excited for this one. I know this is an all-time sci-fi classic. And I'm really excited to be back with Harrison Ford. I did Star Wars and I did all the Indiana Jones trilogy and I did The Fugitive. And I don't think I've seen him in anything else. So if you haven't seen those, make sure you check them out. I'm ready for more Harrison in the 80s. Blade Runner. That's such a cool title. I don't know what it means. It's gonna be kind of, I don't know, mind bending, maybe? I like the sounds. Oh, pew. creepy. I am gonna be watching this sequel too, Blade Runner 2049. Well, I don't know if it's a sequel, direct sequel, or if it's just the same universe or whatever, but Blade Runner 2049 later this week. Directed by Ridley Scott. Have I done any Ridley Scott? Gladiator. I'm not sure. Early in the 21st century, Tyrell Corporation advanced robot evolution of being virtually identical to human, known as a replicant. Replicants were declared illegal on Earth under penalty of death. Police squads, Blade Runner units, orders to shoot to kill. This was not called execution. It was called retirement. I see. Ooh, this is gonna be good. AI. Los Angeles, November 2019. In the future. Oh, we're in the far future of 2019. I love it. I have chills from this music. Whew. The synth. Oh, wow, it's like a pyramid of lights. Is that a building or a spaceship? Oh man, this is gonna be cool. Come in. Oh, those like chimes? Very unsettling. But like kind of mechanical. Is this gonna be gory, I wonder? I'm nervous when I take tests. I'm kind of nervous. I don't know what this is. Time is a factor in this, so please pay attention. Now answer as quickly as you can. Oh man, under penalty of death, maybe? That's the tone I'm getting. You're in a desert, walking along in the sand. Is this the test now? Yes. You look down and you see a tortoise, Leon. The tortoise? What's that? He's never seen a turtle. That looks like a big fat joint. Do you make up these questions, Mr. Holden? They write them down for you. Oh, is that like heartbeat? It's back, it's belly baking in the hot sun, beating its legs, trying to turn itself over, but it can't. This is so creepy. It's a test designed to provoke an emotional response. It's working. I have goosebumps. He is smoking. Describe in single words only the good things that come into your mind about your mother. <gasps> oh, God. Where'd he get that gun? Well, that, that spooked me. Wow, this is, there's a lot going on here. Like, stimulus everywhere. Lights flashing. Oh, all the folds are like lightsabers. Harrison Ford! In the house. Three, four. That's a human? No, four. Two, two, four. And noodles. I saw little lightsaber chopsticks recently and I really want to buy them. He's saying you're under arrest, Mr. Decker. You got the wrong guy, pal. Uh, let me finish my noodles first. He say you braid runner. Tell him I'm eating. <laughs> Not even worried. Brian, huh? Wait. Wonder how long it will be before we have flying cars, or if we ever really will. How could you police that traffic? How could you make it safe if you had a bunch of flying cars all around? I really don't know if that's ever gonna be a real thing. Maybe. Just eating his noodles. Ooh, this music. I like it a lot. Very 80s. I feel like a movie like this probably influenced the music of the 80s, actually. Everything's pretty grungy though, too, you know? Like, dark and dank. It's like it's like film noir almost, but like sci-fi noir. I've got four skin jobs walking the streets. This lampshade has photos on it, that's cool. That should be a thing. They jumped the shuttle off world, killed the crew and passengers. The replicants? I don't work here anymore. Give it the hold. You can breathe, okay, as long as nobody unplugs them. It's not good enough. He's the best Blade Runner there is. Stop right where you are. You know the score, pal. You're not cops. You're little people. Huh. Little origami bird. My sister does origami and leaves them everywhere. It's adorable. No choice, huh? No choice, pal. We've already had an IQ test this year. Is he a replicant? Oh. So that's Leon, the ammunition loader on a galactic run. What do they want out of the Tyrell Corporation? Revenge. Revenge. I think revenge. But we'll see. Do robots dream of revenge? What's this? Nexus 6. Probably the leader. Ah, uh, the big baddie. This is Zora. She's trained for an off-world kick-murder squad. These guys are bad ass. 
I see. Dangerous. The four skin job is Pris, a basic pleasure model, standard item for military clubs in the outer colonies. Now there's a Nexus 6 over the Tyrell Corporation. I want you to go put the machine on. And if the machine doesn't work? Then we're effed. Oh, still got Coca-Cola in the future. Oof. That like harp synth. So cool. Ooh, the sound in this. There's like the low rumbling. Ooh. This is very interesting with the, the AI and the humans and the emotions and stuff. That's very interesting. I mean, if AI developed feelings, then they're just as valid as humans, right? Do you like our owl? It's artificial. Oh. Of course it is. Like a robot owl? Cool. I'm Rachel. It seems you feel our work is not a benefit to the public. Have you ever retired a human by mistake? Good question. No. But in your position, that is a risk. Right, because they look like humans. Capillary dilation of the so-called blush response. Fluctuation of the pupil. Involuntary dilation of the iris. Would a replicant respond that way in those physiological ways? Mr. Deckard, Dr. Eldon Terrell. I want to see it work on a person. I want to see a negative before I provide you with a positive. On you? Try her. I want to see what he does. All right, I'm going to ask you a series of questions. Just relax and answer them as simply as you can. So just like that other guy in the interview thing? You're watching television. Suddenly you realize there's a wasp crawling on your arm. I'd kill it. I mean, she is very robotic if for a human. You're watching a stage play. A banquet is in progress. The guests are enjoying an appetizer of raw oysters. The entree consists of boiled dog. <gasps> boiled dog? No. Would you step out for a few moments, Rachel? Thank you shoulder pads. She's a replicant, isn't she? How many questions does it usually take to spot one? 20, 30 cross-referenced. It took more than a hundred for Rachel, didn't it? She doesn't know. She doesn't know that she's a replicant? Rachel is an experiment. Oh. Nothing more. If we gift them past, then we can control them better. Are we gonna have like a total recall situation here? Well, if they don't know they're replicants, then they wouldn't want to rebel, right? Might be safer, but maybe crueler also? Yeah, look how like grungy this is. Yeah. That's not blood, is it? What is it like? Evidence of a replicant? Huh. That guy leaves a little a little something everywhere he goes, I see. Ooh. Those voices are giving me chills. Uh. Did you get your precious photo? Except that's the leader guy, right? Someone was there. Police? Men? A blade runner. Ah, is that like an I eyeball? <laughs> yeah, it is. They're not eating them, right? Everything's covered in what? Dry ice? Uh, the chimes. You not come here! Illegal! Are they gonna kill him? Cold! Those are my eyes! Freezing! It doesn't affect him. Or does it? Is he gonna like snap off? They're not human. Yes. Questions. <laughs> yeah, what is this suit with the tubes? Morphology, longevity, insect dates. I, I don't know such stuff. I just do eyes. <laughs> just do eyes. For the replicants? If only you could see what I've seen with your eyes. I feel like he's about to pluck out his eyes. Questions. I don't know answers. Who does? Tyrell. Tyrell. They're gonna kill him, I think. This is so tense. Sebastian, he, he take, take you there? Is he freezing? Look at these futuristic cars. Voice print identification. Oh, I do want to see his apartment, if that's where we're going. Oh, she follow him? This isn't the kind of movie where there's a love interest, right? I wanted to see you, so I waited. Let me go. Is he nervous because he's like, I don't want to accidentally tell you that you're a replicant. You think I'm a replicant, don't you? Mm-hmm. He's not going to say. Don't tell her. I don't know. I don't know what the right thing is, like, morally, no. ethically. It's me with my mother. I need to know more. But they implanted that memory, right? Remember when you were six? You and your brother snuck into an empty building through a basement window? They showed that to all the replicants? Implants. Mm -hmm. Those aren't your memories. They're somebody else's. They're Tyrell's nieces. Can she cry? It seems like she's gonna cry. Okay, I made a bad joke. You're not a replicant. No, really. I'm sorry. She can cry. Oh, I feel bad for her. He feels bad too. Want a drink? 
Can replicants get drunk? So she does, I mean, she has emotions, clearly. I mean, I guess they said that they have emotions, but then that they expire after four years? I like this piano. It's the first kind of like human type music that we've heard. Everything else has been very synthy and mechanical, alien. This is very human. I wonder if we're gonna go off world in this. It's always raining. It's making me feel like so damp and cold. Whoa. <laughs> You forgot your bag. I'm lost. Don't worry, I won't hurt you. I hope you won't. What's your name? Chris. Mine's JF Rep Sebastian. Is she looking for him though? That's the guy, right? I'm hungry, JF. You want to come in? I was hoping you'd say that. I can't tell if she's... No, okay, she, I, I was wondering, I was like, is she gonna kill him? Sinister. The living is building up by yourself? Yeah, I live here pretty much alone right now. No one to hear you when you get moited. Must get lonely here, JF. Not really. I make friends. See, I'm a genetic designer. Mm -hmm. You know what that is? Oh, she knows. Oh, the sounds are very unsettling. Home again. She's gonna murder the crap out of him. Home again, home again, diggity dick. These are the toys? Adorable. What about your friends? I'll let them know where I am tomorrow. Can I take those things for you? So crafty. Maybe she's not gonna kill him, she's just gonna bring the other guys here. Yeah, like the main leader guy. Hey, unicorn. I love unicorns. Unicorns are my spirit animal. Enhance 224. Zoom enhance. Zoom enhance. I love a good zoom enhance. <laughs> What's he looking for? Center and stop. Reflection in the mirror. Enhance 34 to 46. What is that? Track 45 left. Stop. Oh. Enhance 15 to 23. Does he know her? Does she have like a mark or something on her? Fish? There is a Mecca serial number. Mm hmm. Not fish. Snake scale. Mm -hmm. Snake. Abdul Ben Hassan. He make this snake. Like an artificial snake? What is this world? Why would you ever make a robot snake? <gasps> He's got a snake on his shoulders. Ugh. Real or robot? One robo snake, please. This is your work, huh? Who'd you sell it to? Look, man. Dr. Hewis is down in for sector, Chinatown. The noise of this city is overwhelming. Put the hockey masks. That's creepy. Bartender. Just smoking those long pipes. I'd like to ask you a few questions. You ever buy snakes from the Egyptian taffy? All the time, pal. Pal. You ever see this girl, huh? Never seen her buzz off. Buzz Your license is in order, pal. The man is dry. Give him one the house. <laughs> There's some wild fashions. Kathy Lewis presents Miss Hillary and the Snake. Well, he's staking somebody out because he's behind a newspaper, so that's how you know. Excuse me, Miss Salome, can I talk to you for a minute? From the American Federation of Variety Artists. I'm not here to make you join. That voice. I'd like to, to check your dressing room. For what? For, uh... For holes, dirty holes, they uh, drill in the walls so they can watch a lady undress. I like her jewel paint. Oh, these voices. Is this a real snake? Of course it's not real. It's a robo snake? Ah, you don't need to touch it. You're a dedicated man. She's on to him. Is she gonna try and kill him? Maybe she is gonna try and suffocate him. Oh, is she a replicant? I didn't recognize her, is she? Oh, he's never gonna find her now. Once you step into the streets of this chaos city, you'll never find her. Maybe you will. Oh, okay. What, is he just gonna shoot her? I guess she did try to kill him. Got her. What, is he just gonna shoot her in the face? There's so much noise. Oof. 
is opening fire in the street. <gasps> oh man. Well, I think she's done for. Oh wow, the blood inside her like poncho. Oof. She's been retired. Yeah, that's the girl from the photo. I see. Decker. License to kill. I mean, I guess he's allowed to just gun her down in the street, retire her. Yeah, what do you want? News. Yeah. Up, oh, still got Budweiser in the future. Ryan. A little on edge. Presumably, they're all gonna figure out, the replicants will figure out they're being hunted by that guy and go after him, maybe. He's gotta watch his back. One more to go. Come on, guys, let's go. Three. No, no, that skin job you BK at the Tyrell Corporation. Oh, Rachel. Disappeared, vanished. Didn't even know she was a replicant. Oh, he has to kill her? He won't be able to kill Rachel if that's what he's supposed to do. Oh, there she is. This old timey jazz. Do you see her? He saw her, right? Yeah. Who's this? Leon. How old am I? Oh, does he not know? They don't know. My birthday is April 10, 2017. How long do I live? Four years. More than you. Yeah. Oh, jeez. So in two years, he will expire, right? I mean, did she get shot in the head? She shot him in the head. Well, see, she's on his side. She saved his bacon. He owes her now. What is in that drink? Looks like a drop of blood. Shakes. Me too. Part of the business. I am the business. Imagine you did though, you lived what you thought was a life and then you found out that you were a robot. <sighs> that would break you. That would blow your mind open in a bad way. It's a good Halloween costume. Ugh. Please don't pull it too without. What if I go north? Disappear. Would you come after me? I don't think he will. I mean, he could kill her right now if he wanted to. No, I will Cause he likes her. I owe you one. He does owe her one, yes. Oh, you can see her eyes. But somebody would. She better bring a gun. You know those files on me? The insect date, the longevity, those things. If she doesn't know that either, yeah, I guess she wouldn't, right? I... He knows. Don't look at him. Yes, he did. You know that Voight comp test of yours? Did you ever take that test yourself? True, how does anyone know they're not a robot? That would kind of blow my mind if he ends up being a robot too. Little saxophone solo. Well, there wouldn't be an 80s movie without a saxophone solo. I mean, she looks human. Very beautiful. I like the framing on these last few scenes. I dropped music. I didn't know if I could play. I remember lessons. I don't know if it's me or Terrell's niece. It's not her, I don't think. You play beautifully. Are they gonna kiss? They are gonna kiss. Oh. Not into it. That's fair. She's got a lot going on. Kiss me. I want you. I want you. Put your hands on me. Whoa. That is some intense makeup. Also a good Halloween costume. I'm getting lots of ideas from this movie. Oh, this place is creepy. Did she just like do a flip across the room? She's giving off clown vibes and I don't I don't love clowns. That guy's also giving off clown vibes. Yeah, that guy. How do I look? You look beautiful. Yeah, she told that other guy where they were. Right, he's gonna kill him. Or I don't know what they want to do with him. What's your problem? With you, Siller syndrome. My glands, they grow old too fast. Is that why you're still on Earth? I can like it here. Is he trapped? I like you. Just the way you are. Hi, Roy. Oh, God. What are they going to do to him? This is my savior, J.F. Sebastian. You live here all by yourself, do you? Perfect for killing. There's only two of us now. We're stupid and we'll die. No, we won't. I'm not sure who's gonna die in this. Look at this place. So creepy. Why are you staring at us, Sebastian? Cause you're so different. Does he know they're replicants? What generation are yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, he does, of course. Nexus 6. I knew it, cause I do genetic design work for the Terrell Corporation. Show me something. Yeah, I wanna see something. We're no computers, Sebastian. No. We're physical. Ooh, that low, low note. 
Heat, cold, doesn't matter. We've got a lot in common. Accelerated decrepitude. Decrepitude, huh? If we don't find help soon, Pris hasn't got long to live. Can he, like, reprogram them? Is he good? Oh, Dr. Terrell, he's a genius. He designed you. Maybe he could help. Wah, wah. Better if I talk to him in person. In person. Will you help us? Does he have a choice? You're our best and only friend. We're so happy you found us. Sinister. These are some sinister looks. He's not taking them. He is taking them. Right to them. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Trade act. Blue entry. A Mr. J.F. Sebastian. And two robo guests. At this hour, what can I do for you, Sebastian? Queen the Bishop Six check. Nonsense. Just a moment. No, this cannot be. I never lose a chess except one time. Oh, that's a cool chess set. Queen Bishop Six. He's got that look like, get ready to die, man. Bishop to King Seven. Bishop King Seven checkmate, I think. Mm -hmm. Let's discuss this. You better come up, Sebastian. Uh. I, I brought a friend. I'm surprised you didn't come here sooner. It's not an easy thing to meet your maker. Oh boy, this is very tense. I want more life, father. He's not gonna kill him because he needs him to reprogram him, right? You were made as well as we could make you. But not to last. You're the prodigal son. You're quite a pride. Now he might kill him. If there's nothing he can do, then... Revel in your time. Nothing the god of biomechanics wouldn't let you in heaven. Is he gonna, like, rip his head off? Squeeze him to death? Uh, oh, God, blech. If I was that Sebastian guy, I would have ran long ago. Long, long ago. Oh, this guy's unhinged. Boom. Well, he's gonna die, so now he just wants revenge, probably. Body identified with Tyrell, 25 year old male Caucasian, named Sebastian JF. This sector's closed to ground trap. What are you doing here? I'm Deckard, Blade Runner. Blade Runners can do whatever the F they want, huh? Okay, checked and cleared. Have a better one. Raining again. Still raining. I mean, maybe it never stops raining. Hi, is JF there? Who is it? Oh, this is Eddie, old friend of JF's. Is he gonna recognize her? The Bradbury. Like Ray Bradbury? God, this is such just a creepy setting tone overall. Uh, so creepy. Just little robo toys. Yeah. What is she doing? She just looks like one of the toys. That would be freaky as hell. No. Get, get out, get out, get that out of there. That place is creepy as sh I mean, She's gonna come alive now, right? Does he recognize her? Oh, frig. <gasps> She's really strong too, right? Uh, stuck it. <laughs> Did he get her? Shot her right in the middle of the jump. Ew. Okay, that's very exorcist. Jesus. That was creepy. She's dead, right? Yeah, she's dead. And this is the other guy. Showdown. Well, he's gonna flip when he sees that girl's dead. Maybe not. I mean, now this guy is strong. I'm pretty sure they said he is very strong. Ugh, buddy. <sighs> well, he knows you're there now. Show me what you're made of. <sighs> oh, God. Pull his gun right through the wall. He could snap his arm right off. Oh, please don't do anything to his fingers. This is for Zora. I'll break, I'll break. Ah! Now it's my turn. I'm gonna give you a few seconds before I come. He's just playing with him. Three, four, Chris. Uh, smeared her blood right on his mouth. Ah. Well, now he knows where you are. Four, five, how to stay alive. Creepy. Just stripped right down, ready to murder. <gasps> he 
dropped his gun. Oh, that guy's just a madman. He has no gun. I hope he has a hidden gun. see you. Oh my god, he's howling like a lunatic, a robo lunatic. Dude, you're screwed. I don't like this plan. Out a tiny hole in the roof. I don't I don't like this. Not yet. Not. Is he starting to die though? Is he starting to shut down? What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Why? Why? Why, 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 why? You better get it up. I'm gonna have to kill you. Well, if he had his gun, he could just shoot him. Stab him in the face. Oh, frick, no. He's not gonna jump over there. Dude, that's precarious. Oh, this music. That's his move, just punching through stuff, kicking through stuff, head through the wall. Where are you going? <laughs> Where is he going? What's your plan? Oh, he's just climbing with those broken ass fingers. Ugh, I'm very unsettled right now. And then his head popped through the roof. Now look for a weapon. His head's just gonna pop up right there. Maybe not, I don't know. <gasps> if you had a weapon, where can he go? Is he just gonna jump off? <gasps> Oh, well, I don't think the robot will hesitate to do that also. Everything's so slippery. What does he have, a dove? With that synth and then like church bells. The time has come. He's going. Sticks it. This might be the end of old Declan. Quite an experience to live in fear, isn't it? That's what it is to be a slave. <laughs> he saved him? Why? Now he's gonna let him go? I don't know what's gonna happen. I mean, I feel kind of bad for these replicants. They're just being hunted. Why do you do that? I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. Is he about to die? All those moments will be lost in time. Like tears in rain. Time to die. Time to die. He's gonna die. He just didn't want to sit there and die alone. And he saved him. He saved you, man. You've done a man's job, sir. I guess you're through, huh? Finish. It's too bad she won't live, but then again, who does? Rachel? Huh? I feel bad. I was yelling, shoot him in the face about that replicant guy. Now I feel bad for him. Rachel? <sighs> she died too. Oh, no, she's alive. Well, for now. Do you love me? I love you. Is he gonna take her away? Rachel. His hand is all messed up. <gasps> that that dude with the origami dude. Little unicorn. Is he there? It's too bad she won't live. Is he gonna kill her? <laughs> Sheesh! That was intense. I wanna think about that one. Crazy synth, the music man. Woo, woo, woo. Okay, guys, well, that was Blade Runner, and I've been sitting here thinking about it. I wanted to just sort of process what I've just saw, and okay, if that dude that made the origami things made a little unicorn and left it for Harrison Ford, who had a dream earlier of a unicorn, how would that dude know? To leave him a unicorn like unless they had a talk about like i dreamed of a unicorn which seems unlikely so i think harrison ford is a replicant and i think like that dude knows the contents of his dreams because it's just like with rachel like they implant dreams and memories and things like that i think he's a replicant i think that unicorn is kind of the sealing the deal he has to be a replicant i'm pretty sure i think he's a replicant maybe maybe i'm wrong i think he's a replicant the more I think about it, the more it would make sense if he was a replicant. Just like a vicious killing machine. So interesting. I just want to like sit here and think about this movie some more. I feel like this is a movie that I would want to watch over again. Now that I think he probably is a replicant, I might see things that I didn't see the first time. It's gotta be. The more I think about that, that unicorn origami, how would he know? Like it's a huge coincidence if he just left him a unicorn origami after we saw him have a dream of a unicorn. That's just a huge coincidence if it doesn't mean anything. 
has to mean something. So I think he's a replicant. I think his dreams were implanted and that guy knows it. Maybe he's trying to send him a message. You're a replicant. And maybe like Harrison Ford's character saw it and was like, oh, oh, sh I am a replicant. So interesting. I really liked it. Clearly, I liked it a lot. Uh, and I can see, obviously, it was hugely influential and just a total sci-fi classic. So I'm super glad that I watched it. I, I, I just want to, I want to go like read some stuff now. But yeah, it was really good, really stylish, really um, like the tone and and the the music and the setting and the rain, the constant rain, the lighting and the, the smokiness and the grunginess. It was very, very cool. They really created like a very immersive world. I'm very interested to see what the sequel's like too, uh, 2049. He's gotta be a replicant, the more I think about it. Maybe not though, maybe I'm wrong, but that's what I got out of it. Maybe you guys can tell me if there are like some other theories or if you guys noticed any other like clues along the way that he is a replicant, let me know. Oof, so interesting. I really, really like this one. This one was really, really good. And just so many questions about like what it means to be human. And like at one point I was literally cheering for him to like kill the robot guy. But th and then in the end, the robot guy saved him and like said a poetic speech before he died. Like it really makes you question things, you know, the future and the future of technology and, and artificial intelligence and all that stuff, the ethics of it and the morals of it. It's all very, very interesting. If there are more movies that talk about these kind of questions, let me know. I would definitely be interested in seeing them for sure. MVP I'm gonna give to the music. I really liked it. I don't think that this movie would have the same feel at all if the music hadn't been so cool and intense and sci-fi and, and, and just, you know, it was overwhelming at some points, but it was very good. It was really, really good, really interesting. I almost want to just go listen to this score just by itself. I think it would be very intense. I really, really like the music in this, so the music is the MVP. Low-key MVP, I'm gonna give to the overall stylishness of this whole movie. It's just like the film noir meets sci-fi feeling I got from it was so, so cool. I really, really liked it. I'm very curious to see if that similar feel and style is in 2049. So so really looking forward to that. But the overall cool stylishness of this film is a low-key MVP. And the worst award, it's really hard to say in this movie who's like the worst. There's there's a lot of questions in this movie about, you know, if you create AI, do you own it or are they a slave or are they autonomous and all that stuff. So I don't know. I don't really know. And I need to think about it. I'm not even sure. I don't know. It's very, it's all very, very complicated. So I guess we'll just give the worst award to um, that, uh, that guy's eyes getting gouged out. That was pretty gross. So I'm just going to give the worst award to the gouging of the eyes. That was gross that is the worst. Overall, this one really blew me away. I really, really liked it and I wanna think about it some more. So let me know some of your Blade Runner theories. I'm dying to hear them. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I had a great time. I hope you had a great time too. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.